Hey guys, Bridge here. In this video, we're going to create this iOS UI design from scratch using Figma. I also want to remind you that I recently launched a Figma course. So if you want to bring your Figma design skills to the next level, feel free to check it out. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, we're back in Figma and we already have one screen from a previous tutorial, which I published on the channel and uh, we're going to leverage it but you can also start from scratch since uh, we're pretty much going to use uh, the same uh, assets so as you can see this previous one was uh, 40 28 of width and uh, we can select uh, this iphone 30 pro max in order to duplicate this and i'm going to rename this to two all right now one element uh, which uh, i'm going to leverage uh, is going to be this uh, rectangle right here so I'm simply going to copy and paste it. And as you can see, it's simply a linear gradient uh, with uh, this uh, value on the hex and this value on uh, this uh, other part. So we're going to, essentially for this one, we're going to create an overlay. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool in order to basically create a rectangle, <coughs> which is going to go across uh, this uh, section pretty much we're going to use the rounded corner in order to round up this top corner now we don't really need to round up this bottom corner so the way that you do it is simply actually simply double click with the left mouse button on the rectangle select these two and just decrease the rounded value on these ones so as you can see we can have this mixed rounded rectangle and uh, we are pretty much uh, set and good to go now i'm going to simply rename this to rectangle and this one to background and uh, i'm going to lock uh, this layer so i'm going to click on this icon so that it doesn't interfere as uh, we are designing now we're going to bring uh, this rectangle with this text right here using the option alt key and uh, you can also simply create uh, a new text layer uh, the font is Lato which is a free Google web font um, if you don't have uh, Lato in your system you simply have to go on Google search for Lato and here we go the very first one is uh, this free font click on download family and uh, you're pretty much set all right at this point uh, what we need uh, is to well, first of all change the heading i'm going to center it right back and i'm going to add a arrow icon which is essentially going to help with the navigation and of course i'm using nucleo icons which is this software right here which enable you to browse through different icons and essentially after that uh, you can uh, once you find uh, the one you can simply drag and drop it and as you can see have the icon right here <clears throat> i'm going to change the color of this icon make it just a little bit bigger not too much and uh, yeah we're pretty much uh, set and uh, as i'm not seeing here probably want to have a, a little bit less uh, width uh, in this rectangle so I'm going to select it unlock it so double click uh, with the left uh, and just bring it up just a little bit all right so that's that I'm also going to add uh, a small rectangle just below it round it up all the way center it and give it maybe like a 30% opacity here on these lines and uh, we are good with this one as well now I'm going to create uh, a ellipse which uh, is going to have this color and I'm going to add uh, a icon so let's bring back our nucleo icons and i'm going to find something uh, around the concept of tech or even let's write money 
and we're probably going to go with uh, something which is minimal but you know, kind of straight to the point let's try this one right here it's quite in line with currencies and you know that concept as a whole and let's center this up maybe let's go with 10 percent or even like something like 12 and that uh, will work uh, for our main uh, icon okay now what we're gonna do is we're going to add uh, a card section so this is going to be marks card and I probably don't want uh, the uh, black in both which is one default version that'll do and now I'm going to create uh, just a few different circles right here I'm going to copy this I'm going to duplicate this just a few times then I'm going to add a credit card number right here fictional of course let's make this one bold All right, so we have uh, our card section. Now it's time to actually go ahead and add a element below this. I'm going to use the same uh, color. And probably I just want to make it just a little bit more on the grayish side. Maybe I'll keep the other one. All right. Now let's add uh, the values. So we're going to have uh, let's put this value right here. Let's increase the size quite significantly. And let's group it and center it uh, all the way. All right, I'm also going to grab one of these tags and again bring it to the center. Right to the amount here. And probably use this. Uh, um, Maybe let's let's go for a lighter, not too light color. That makes sense. And I think uh, we have it. Just round it up, and I'll probably go with something just a tiny bit lighter. All right. We're in a good spot right now and the uh, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially create uh, two circles right here. All right, now let's write uh, less and let's write plus. We're going to have these uh, two icons which we can leverage in order to uh, add the add and minus functionality so that the user can select the the element all right so i'm going to use this color right here I'm probably going to just change the color of these guys just to give it a little bit more of yeah just just to mix up the layout just a bit it's less boring 
<clears throat> All right. I'm actually not too sure about these guys being in this color. I'm going to tone it down just a little bit. All right. At this point, uh, another thing that uh, I like to do is to add uh, a MasterCard or actually a Visa uh, logo. So I can go here and uh, can kind of create like a mini, mini Visa card right here. And I'm going to do the same for MasterCard. As you can see, we can leverage these uh, icons uh, in a very easy way. I'm going to basically copy these uh, right here. I'm going to write here debit. I'm going to duplicate this right here. Let's bring this one to this section. And I'm also going to create how they drop down here. And I'm going to do the same when it comes to this one. All right, probably going to copy the style of this guy and this guy. And bring it a little bit more to the right. And I'm also going to add this uh, divider line in between uh, these uh, two cards. Just bring it right here and uh, I'm going to change this one. They think we're pretty much set. One, not, one thing that I'm noticing is that this green is like a bit too pronounced. So I'm just going to tone it back uh, just uh, a little bit. I'm also going to add uh, a icon right here, just like we have uh, over here. By the way, guys, we're using, uh, we're creating an entire, um, like we're creating two screens, uh, but not the entire UI kit. So that's a reason why we're not using uh, rulers and columns and all that. Uh, um, I personally use them all the time at work. It's just that uh, for this specific uh, tutorial, you know, I just wanted to freestyle a little bit and uh, not think too much about those those elements. But usually, generally speaking, you always want to to add them. So the way that I would do it on mobile and that I usually do it is to do it in two columns. Um, this is something which differs to the desktop versions usually, since uh, on desktop you would have uh, multiple columns. Uh, think about like bootstrap grids and uh, you know, uh, projects of that nature might have like 12 columns or work on eight columns or something like that. But usually on mobile it's just easier to work in two columns and work around it from there. So just a nice little insight as to you know that part. Now I think we're pretty much set with this screen. Probably just going to make this one just a little bit smaller. But yeah, overall I think we're in a good position. Uh, I can simply center all of this. We can group it uh, by um, sections. And then, uh, yeah. So yeah, I'll finish grouping this. Uh, and um, basically this is pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed uh, this video. I want to remind you that on my channel, I have over 500 videos on uh, UI UX design uh, and basically covering my over decade of experience in this field. So if you're interested in that, feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.